this video, I'm going to show you the new character, Kurumi. She's a gotcha character, and so is Guts. So, who should we really get? I'm gonna show you in dimensions, boss rush, and raids, and compare them both, both with the best meta gear and the worst gear in the game. So, no matter what where you are in the game, you can still benefit from this video. Now, keep in mind that I have a spreadsheet on all the information here, and eventually it's gonna be full with, filled with every single character, or so I hope. And make sure to subscribe so I can continue making these detailed character showcases, and eventually also continue making giveaways like I used to do almost every thousand subscribers. Let's get into the video though. The first ability is insane because it has insane damage, good pet energy gain, low cooldown, and it has a 50% chance to deal more damage and reset the cooldown so you can spam it again. It's also a really quick move. Second ability is also really quick, has not too much damage, not too much more energy gain. It's a pretty average second ability, but it's really quick to use, so it's good. Third ability is good because it's also really quick to use, but the damage does come in slowly, and the damage isn't too insane, but it's pretty good. Good energy gain, slower cooldown. The fourth ability has pretty good damage, and even more damage if you have the accessory for Kirby, but you don't really need to use that. Insane pet energy gain, but it does take a long time to use, but you can aim it while using it. The fifth ability is really good. In general, fifth abilities are really good because it has good damage and a very good pet energy gain, but this ability also reduces the cooldown on skill 1 to 4, uh, gives you speed boost, and you can just spam your ability so much. The assist is really good as well. The one thing that's dragging it down is that it's attack instead of boss damage. I made these comparisons as fair as possible by both, first of all, making exactly the same amount of time. So one minute I timed it on Monkey Raid and then having the exact same stats by using the same cards. So it should be really fair. With Kurumi, with bad cards, bad accessories, bad everything basically. So basically for new players, she was pretty good. And even with her own accessory, she didn't really perform much better because with the fifth ability, you still are able to spam a certain amount of times. So the accessory doesn't help that much, but she was pretty, like, like really good with without good stuff. So she's probably very uh, noob friendly. Kurumi got around 150, 160 million damage in this test, which is really good. But the problem is, Guts is also really good. Guts is a character that has a spam move as well, which is really good when you don't have a good pet. So Guts can also spam his moves really well, even without a CDR pet like Kurumi or Garo pet. So he's really good and he's really strong. And without his own accessory, he also gets 150 million and using its own accessory, he's going to get even more. In this first test, I tried uh, Kurumi with meta gear. So meta accessory, meta cards, meta fruit, meta uh, pets, everything like that. Just everything meta, the best thing in, things in the game, except for the assists because um, Kurumi assist, I have it. So both get the 50% damage buff and it's fair. This might not be meta, but it's fair. And Kurumi did well. She's probably one of the best characters in the game. She's definitely not a bad character and she's most likely better than all gem characters and probably all raid characters. He's just beaten by some uh, like Saber Christmas and Gotcha characters. She's really good, but the problem with her is that she doesn't benefit from Garapet that much. She can't utilize uh, Garapet's uh, reduction because while she can, while she's spamming, she spams so fast that a Garapet activation doesn't really do anything. She might even benefit more from Tanjiro Pet or something like that that increases boss damage. And that's not usually a very, very good sign. But she's still really good, just that Garopet is not that good for her. The two tests where I dealt less damage was also with her own specific accessory, so just using meta accessory is better. Guts with the best gear obviously uses his own accessory, and just meta gear in general. He has a really great combo, he can spam his moves, his fourth ability makes everything stronger, so you definitely need that. He just has really strong moves that can spam a lot, and he's just amazing, so he's clearly just better. In this test, I used the best gear to see how much damage uh, the character can get in 10 seconds on the boss uh, dummy, 
And Kermit got around 40 million, which is good for these cards. I have 106 cards just to make sure I can always do this test. But Guts just annihilated Kermit with 70 plus million damage. And while Kuromi does have good overall damage and she can spam a lot of moves, it's more like a long-term damage. It's not fast. It's not burst-ish. You get the damage with the fifth ability and then you can spam your abilities. And it, it, it will flow in damage, but not just, just not that fast. In a regular dimension, Guts has one speed ability and it's a fourth ability. And he does not have a dash. So he's really slow in dimensions, but his damage makes him be able to like one shot bosses really fast, one shot all the enemies. So he's okay for damage, but just not really a fast dimension character. Hermie does not have a dash either, which you can probably imagine that they're both kind of terrible in dimensions because they don't have a dash. Well, Kermi is actually pretty good because Kermi has uh, three speed, move, uh, speed abilities, basically that moves that increase your speed. The fifth ability, the fourth ability, and the first ability all give us like speed boost. And that makes her basically just speed through the dimension all the time. So she's pretty fast anyway. So I made a test where you basically one shot every dimension. I play a ghoul dimension, which is really low level. And Guts just couldn't keep up with the movement. He could one shot, but just couldn't speed up. Hermie, on the other hand, does have three moves that increase her speed. So even though neither has a dash, Kermi is slightly faster, meaning in theory better than Guts in dimensions. So that's one thing that Kermi got for her, or maybe even also that she might be better than Guts without a good pet. But yeah, Kermi isn't too bad. While Kermi does have the speed, it doesn't matter if Guts can catch up just because Guts can kill the enemies much faster. And the reason why we can't one-shot is because I'm using just one card instead of three cards. So it's really hard to kill enemies at three times less damage, three times less health. So Kermi just can't keep up the damage. And those are all the tests. All of them were fair, and now we know. How good is Kermi? She's really good, but she's not better than Guts. It might be better than Guts. She might be better than Guts if you don't have a good pet, but I'm not really sure they're kind of equal. And in Dimensions, she is better at speedrunning, but if you can't kill the enemies fast, which most people can't, they actually have a hard time doing Dimensions, Guts is better because Guts just has much more damage. And especially if you actually use the Guts accessory, which is, is the meta accessory, but buffs Guts. Uh, buffs guts. So Kermi is good, it's just that uh, Guts is better. So I recommend getting Guts. Otherwise, subscribe if you enjoyed the video so I can do more of these. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.